Welcome back. So these are the hormones that you're going to have to study for your step one exam. And I'm going to have a separate video about each one of them. Today, however, we're going to be talking about cortisol. Cortisol is released from the zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex. Excessive cortisol can cause Cushing syndrome and deficiency might be caused by Addison disease. The regulation of cortisol is very important. We have two main steps that are required to release cortisol from the adrenal gland. First, CRH or corticotropin releasing hormone must be released from the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary gland. Then, the anterior pituitary secretes ACTH, which travels all the way down to the adrenal gland and stimulates the secretion of cortisol. Now, cortisol can travel back to the hypothalamus to cause negative feedback. In the blood, cortisol is bound to cortisol binding globulin, which inactivates it. And remember that chronic stress can result in chronically elevated levels of cortisol, but never high enough to cause Cushing syndrome. Other stress hormones are epinephrine and glucagon. To remember the key features and the functions of cortisol, I remember the word Cushing because elevated levels of cortisol can cause Cushing syndrome. C4 catabolic effects. Cortisol will cause destruction of the bone, the skin, and the muscles. So we will have osteoporosis, thin skin, and muscle weakness. Cortisol also upregulates the alpha receptors in the blood vessels to cause increased blood pressure. In the skin, we're going to have striase due to decreased collagen synthesis. Cortisol also stimulates hunger. I for insulin resistance. N for neutrophilia, xenopenia, and lymphopenia. Cortisol will cause neutrophilia because it will inhibit migration of neutrophils. So the body responds to infections by increasing neutrophils that are unable to find the infection. And cortisol causes the death of lymphocytes and eosinophils. And finally, G for gluconeogenesis with lipolysis and proteinolysis. And here's a small quiz for you. So how exactly does cortisol cause osteoporosis? And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.